because it was like right around the time the game was released. Why did I do that? That was dumb. Eh, it didn't do shit. Well, I know she's she's uh, Professor Juniper's aide in Black Two White Two. She's the one who gives you your starter. She actually tags along with you through the cave where you find Heatron. Granted, she only talks about Heatron, you don't actually find it. If memory serves. Which it probably doesn't. Though I did like how you could find wild Eevees in Black 2 White 2. That was a nice touch. And I've only got a couple thousand more experience to gain. It's like 5,000 from here? 4,000. Still, I'm not fighting without Fusion Flare. Evolve it into Espeon. Because Espeon is fucking awesome. Give it Shadow Ball. Watch the bitches fall. Golden Sun. That is a game. Golden Sun The Lost Age. This is the first one of the, the series that I played. Because of my cousin. He had it and I'm like, ooh, this game's cool. And then... I played... I played Golden Sun, I think, when I was in 7th grade, and then I bought my copy of uh, the original in 8th grade. Loved it. And then Dark Dawn came out in 2010, and I was greatly disappointed. That's not that bad to get. I mean, I think it's... Um, not only an uncommon encounter in the grass, but I think it shares the rustling grass with Adino. I could be wrong on that one, though. Another tactic song. Didn't realize those songs were too, so close together. Try to make it a point to uh, spread my music from the same games out. And ding. It doesn't. And of course my headset and my controller are wrapped around each other. I was gonna get up real quick. And before I fight the next gym, I'm going to take another restroom break. So, I shall return.
Alright, I'm back. And I see Shadow's returned. Also, yeah, great timing on that, buddy. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna run the song out now. And then... Gym time. So let's just walk to the gym. Oops, walked past the road that I need to go to. And it'll have to wait, Necron. That grind session only took forever. <clears throat> Me too. Oh shit, I didn't want... Ambor in front. I also don't want the lucky egg on him. Fuck. I forgot. I'm retarded. Chat hot, really? Last fighting game I played a lot of was Budokai Tenkaichi 2 on PS2 10 years ago. God, I feel so old. Let's take that off him. And let's let Ant Man fuck some shit up. And, uh, yeah, I don't know if you were here for that, Shadow, but we got Ant-Man back. He has returned. With a vengeance. Ah, you'll be fine. Oh, okay, you were here for that? Yeah, I wasn't sure if you were here when we got him. I mean, I have been streaming for quite a fucking while. And you kind of bob in and out, so... Wow, you beat me! Yeah, using an attack that... Kind of wrecks your shit. Right, let's come in here. Radicate, huh? Bet it's not the top percent. Ooh, I don't even know if that tailwind's gonna help you, buddy. Super Mario 63? No, I have not. I've played Super Mario 64? And I've seen Super Toad 67, as played by Vinny. A vine sauce. Yep, it revives them because your their HP goes up by the amount the level gives. So if they're at zero, they get their level boost as it, um, HP, and it brings them back. Same thing happens if you have a Pokemon that evolves when it's fainted. It's like, um, I've actually had that happen a couple times, and I've heard people use that uh, to their advantage in Nuzlocke, where they lose their Pugiana, and then it evolved into Mighty Ana right at the same time, and then it just, they kept 
uh, fighting with it. I'm almost half afraid to look at it because a lot of those, a lot of fan games and hacks are shitty. And something tells me that's no exception. Don't do this! Fuck you, game! Do not do this. Oh, come the fuck on! I'm not sure how they could mix Sunshine and 64. Because that they run on two completely different engines. And have vastly different control schemes. Yeah, I can't play a collect-a-thon without doing a 100% run. It's just me being a fucking crazy person. Like, that's why I kind of dread doing uh, Banjo-Kazooie, because I know that it's damn near impossible to get all the notes in one of the areas. Just kind of schooled, schooled that guy. Okay, I can come back around this way. I hate this gym. It's the puzzle's obnoxious. Another chat hot? Really? If I find another Marowak in this gym, I'm probably just gonna fucking quit. And for Ose, what can I possibly hit this thing with? Eh, Shadow Force, fuck it. Uh, what's Ampharos going to do to a passive fucking plus two attack? And I don't want to go above level 43 until I get to the gym leader. In case I have to fall back on something.
guess I'll use Ant uh, Hellhound. Oh, I hate this. Fucking puzzles. Sure. You've obviously got to do what? With a slot for a, an Eevee. Um, you should probably have a Growlithe if you're going to have problems with Berg. You can get that at the uh, Ironworks, whatever the hell they're called, right there south of um, the city. I can never remember the names of places of games from so long ago. Furbank, that's it, because I remember watching a lot of people play the Pokemon TCG and. Burbank is one of the most used fucking cards because of what it does to the poison mechanic in the game. Okay, you are using a... Isn't it in your party? You would be able to tell unless you're not playing right now. The uh, the park in Castelia is ranged from 11 to 17. I think 11 might be a little low, but I do remember finding level 17s there. Quick guard's not gonna help you, jackass. I love when the AI plays defensively when it doesn't do them any good. And then there's the times where they play defensively and it's just fucking obnoxious. Like, uh, using Protect and Detect when they've got, like, 3 HP left, and there's nothing doing residual damage. Quick Guard prevents, like, priority attacks and shit. It's not very good.
Anne. That is hilarious. With the giant fucking jaw beard. That's actually it's funny and terrifying at the same time. Uh. Outrage. This is a dragon gym. What? What are you doing with <laughs> You've cut that out. Ferrothorn. Still less pressure. Why did I use Techno Blast? Why did I do that? Oh, good night, sweet hellhound. Fuck. Shh. Oh, muscle memory just fucking mashing. Fucking A. And there goes my longest surviving fucking party member again. Fucking retarded. Let's see. Of my party, who is my longest surviving? Because now my longest surviving is Waddles the Pikachu. Blue Sub Six is now my long my longest living. And that was my keyboard slamming against my controller. Stop that, Tauros. No critical hits. No, you're not allowed. Damn it! Back to square one. Come on, get the special attack boost. Get the special attack boost, sub. Come on, man. Thank you! Haha, <laughs> fucker! Got the fucking badge. Yes. Spike cannon? Sorry, give me Dragon Tail. I would still have a Hellhound if I didn't do that fucking retarded Techno Blast. Because instead of hitting for 240, well, for 120, I would have hit for 240. And definitely would have got the kill. But I'm a fucking retard. Yes, Professor Juniper, I know where Route 10 is.
<sighs> but let's go retire Hellhound's remains to the graveyard box. No, wrong one. Eat the corpse. And is there anyone in storage? No, no, there's not. Eh, Mega Deancy's decent, but Deancy itself, not so much. But, I do believe that'll do her. This session only took two hours longer than I expected. But then again, I did bring a fucking egg up <clears throat> to the party level. So, yeah! I will see you guys next time. Not sure when. But, if you're following on either of the forums I've been posting my progress on, then you'll know where. So, I uh, will see you guys next time. Have a good one.